Hey, good morning, everyone. Now, I'm really excited to be here with all of you today. Thank you for joining me at the Microsoft Reactor Space in beautiful San Francisco. Now, this space is the new home for one of our Mixed Reality Academies. These academies serve as a community hub for creators to come together and uh, collaborate, learn, and help us fuel this new era of computing, the era of mixed reality. Now, we're standing together at the threshold of the next revolution of computing. Now, the thing that excites me about this revolution is that computers will empower us to renegotiate our very contract with reality, giving us the capability to transcend time, space, and devices. In this revolution, we will immerse ourselves in virtual worlds of our choosing, and we'll be able to accomplish impossible things. And we'll be able to do all of this while creating lasting memories with the people that we love. Our very sense of reality is set to be transformed as we enter this new era of computing, the era of mixed reality. Now, at Microsoft, we are inventing mixed reality technologies that will forever unleash the creativity of people and organizations around the planet. Technologies that will forever change the way that we work, communicate, and play. And since 2015, when we first introduced the world to mixed reality, we remain committed to approaching this journey patiently, meaningfully, and in a holistic way. Now, we've created cutting-edge devices and the technologies that power them. We've built a unified platform for applications and services to target. And we've come together as an ecosystem to take these technology innovations and deliver new capabilities, capabilities that will forever change our lives. But most importantly, we are the only company to have embraced the entire continuum for mixed reality, from augmented reality to virtual reality and everywhere in between. Now, mixed reality will span from PCs to phones, opaque headsets, see-through headsets, and in the near future, headsets that can do both. Windows 10 was designed from the ground up to natively support mixed reality. And for the last 18 months since we introduced the world to mixed reality, the modern workplaces have been harnessing the power of Windows 10 paired with the magic of HoloLens to transform the way they work and communicate. From healthcare, where doctors are transforming how they plan and perform complex surgeries, to education, where teachers are using mixed reality to increase student engagement and their love of learning, to more recently, the automotive industry, where designers and engineers are transforming the way they design and build cars. They're using mixed reality to iterate faster. And in so doing, they're taking processes that used to take weeks and now only take days. So let's take a look at how Ford is transforming their world with holograms. We've been on a journey of the virtual process for Ford for a long time. Everything starting with 2D drawings that we were doing on the computer, evolving to 3D fully digital models. The mixed reality, what we can do is take a physical asset and overlay new concepts on top of it. What we do at Ford is we need to make stuff real. The value of faster iteration, it matters to everybody from the young designer all the way up to the top level management. The HoloLens is an effective tool that we're adding to our toolbox, and it's new and exciting because we can provide people a better way to collaborate. So we can leave a note. It's the actual person's voice. So now I can have a walk around where it's a guided tour, and that makes it truly transformative. Hey, Craig, I see an issue here. We're developing apps for HoloLens to be used within our production environment for designing cars in the near future. Now you have this whole team of people, and they're all collaborating and sharing and looking at ideas together. HoloLens gives the people we have a faster path to get their creative ideas into something physical. We're focused right on the heart of making people's lives better by changing the way people move. Now, Ford has absolutely inspired me with their use of mixed reality. And today, I'm incredibly excited to show you the next wave 
of Windows Mixed Reality devices. Immersive virtual reality headsets and motion controllers. Exactly two weeks from today, on October 17th, the Fall Creators update to Windows 10 will be available. And on that same day, you'll be able to experience these gorgeous devices. A perfect pairing, an unrivaled experience. An experience not available on anybody else's platform or anybody else's device this holiday. Now we start with convenience. All of these headsets deliver on our promise of effortless setup. No need for external sensors, no need for a bunch of cameras, no need to drill holes into your walls. Just open the box, plug it into your PC, and it just works. Going to a friend's house, throw it in your bag, take it with you, and it just works. Our industry-defining inside-out tracking will precisely track your every move and all of your gestures. From convenience, we move to choice. Our amazing partners, HP, Acer, Lenovo, and Dell, offer a range of innovative headsets and motion controllers, starting at just $399. Finally, we crafted an entirely new reality for Windows. But we didn't want to just build a new operating system. We wanted to build a deeply human way of operating. And to do this, we started by looking at the history of interfaces. In the beginning, there was the command line. Knowledge was stuck in our heads. You had to memorize com commands and controls, type them on a keyboard, and the computer responded. Then came the graphical user interface. You no longer had to memorize commands. Instead, you interacted with visible controls and objects using your mouse. The desktop interface took the GUI and combined it with inspiration from the physical laptop, uh, desktop. Paper documents and physical file folders were arranged on a desk. Now, these concepts were digitized so that all of us could click on them, drag them, and operate on them. With Windows Mixed Reality, we return to the physical world for innovation. Windows Mixed Reality is the first spatial operating system, and we designed it from the ground up to leverage the instinctual ability we have as humans to navigate the world around us. As humans, we are wired to engage in physical space. For us, space is everything. As a matter of fact, space is the ultimate interface. So we designed a space where each place has purpose, where each piece of content has context, and a serene place each of us gets to call home. So let's experience Windows Mixed Reality on one of our gorgeous win uh, uh, headsets. Now, what I'm about to show you is the Fall Creators update to Windows 10. The same exact build, the same exact bits that all of us will be able to download on October 17th. Now, to make it easier for us to follow along, we're going to be switching from my first-person view to a third-person view for the demonstration. When it's in third-person view, this camera that just walked on stage is going to be capturing me. What you're seeing here is our Spectator View 2.0 technology. Now, the cool thing about this is, is that it can actually green screen me inside the virtual world with one key difference. As you see, we have no green screen here. So without further ado, let's put a headset on and see what Windows Mixed Reality can do for us. Welcome to the Cliff House. Now, this is the first of many environments to come. Now, just like you start with a desktop interface on your PC or a dashboard on your Xbox or the start screen on, a, on your phone, Windows Mixed Reality starts with a home. Like any home, you can personalize and decorate your Cliff House. Now, this is my Cliff House, and I've decorated it just like I like. Let me actually show you around. Now, as you can see, I can move around physically by walking. Each step I take in the physical world corresponds to the same step 
in the virtual world. Now, I can also just use my motion controllers to teleport. I can just point to where I want to go, and as soon as I let go, boom, I'm there. Now, let's take a look at what's on this side. I have my beautiful Paint 3D app. I have this surreal painting with little butterflies. And I have this, the, the weather app. Looks like it's 62 and sunny here in beautiful San Francisco. Now, this is the same weather app that runs on my PC, my HoloLens, my Xbox, and my tablet. This is the beauty of our universal Windows platform. Windows Mixed Reality allows you to customize your home with more than 20,000 applications, things like Paint 3D, this picture, or the weather. Now, fortunately, in my Cliff House, the weather and view are always beautiful. Look at majestic Mount Rainier in the distance. Now, does anybody ever wonder how tall Mount Rainier is? I think I know someone that can help. Hey, Cortana, how tall is Mount Rainier? The elevation of Mount Rainier is about 14,411 feet. That's right. Not only is Windows Mixed Reality the first spatial operating system, it is also infused with industry-defining AI. And with the power of my voice, it has never been easier to interact with the system. Move this here. Move this there. Bigger, bigger, close. Now, did you see how I could just say here and there? No speech recognition system would be able to get the context of what that means. But because we designed Windows Mixed Reality natively for mixed, rea for mixed reality, it was able to take my gaze where I was looking, marry it with my speech, and it had all the context it needed to be able to place the screen exactly where I wanted it. Now let's continue to explore. Here, you'll see the new For You bag. Now this is an extension to the Microsoft Store where you get personalized recommendations on great new content for your Cliff House. Now, obviously, I've already downloaded dozens of applications from the store in my Cliff House. So let me show you how I use these apps in my everyday life. So here you'll see my Microsoft to-do to list. Remember to have fun. Check. Um, introduce the world to first ever spatial operating system. Check. All right. Here you see my LinkedIn. Here you see my calendar. You've never multitasked like this before. Space is limitless in mixed reality. And switching is as efficiently and natural as simply looking at what I can do. So here's a little bit of email. I can easily. All right. Um, and here's my calendar. So let me just rotate a bit to show you a bit more uh, of my Cliff House. Now, we've made it magical for you to navigate between applications. And you've seen me teleport to different places in the house by simply pointing to where I want to go. But we've also invented this other feature called Snap to App. Now you can always jump to the perfect position in front of any application you want. In the same way that your PC lets you snap windows on your desktop, Windows Mixed Reality snaps you to your application. Over there is where I stay on top of all my social feeds. So let's go take a look at Instagram. Ready? Boom! Just like that, I'm perfectly positioned in front of Instagram. Did you see how easy it was for me to teleport in front of Instagram? Now I can just as easily position myself in front of Twitter, Facebook, or even my Photos app. Now here on this wall is my Windows Photos application where I, can view, where I can view and relive my favorite fa memories with the people and places that I love. Now, I'm an avid photographer, and I take a lot of photos. And with the Photos application in OneDrive, I love that these photos are available on all of my devices. Even more excited, exciting, I'm not limited to just viewing these photos, but I can embrace my inner creator and bring them to life with animated ink or 3D effects. Now, these are all new features in our Photos app that can be built in with the Fall Creators update to Windows 10. Now, these social experiences come to live 
in a whole new way in mixed reality. I feel more immersed in my social feeds than ever before. Now imagine taking today's social networks and combining them with real-time experiences and leveraging immersive presence to transcend from sharing posts to sharing entire situations. As the father of a daughter with my family entirely in Brazil, I love imagining a reality where my daughter can interact with the entire family on a weekend. We can play board games together on a table across the globe in a socially present and immersive way. But let's not talk about this in the abstract. Let me show you a pioneer in social mixed reality, Altspace. Success, I have arrived in one of dozens of environments inside of Altspace. Now, I invited a few friends of mine to come and hang out with me in this environment and share the stage. So let's go outside and say hello to them. The first person we have here is Terry Meyerson. Hey, Terry, how are you today? Hi, Alex, how do you like your burgers? Hmm, virtual. <laughs> I have to say, I really love this promise of communications and mixed reality. It's just amazing that we can feel like we're in the same place, but I'm in Redmond and you're down there in San Francisco. Indeed, I find this fascinating, the fact that I can be physically present with you even though we're not in the same um, locations. Now, who else is here? Oops, let me dismiss my mute. Now, who else is here with me? Is that GB, GB from Intel? Hey, GB, how's it going today? Hey, Alex, hey, Terry. Greetings from down here in Santa Clara. Yeah, oh, wow, this is really such a unique experience, and it's been really fun working with your team to help make Windows Mixed Reality go mainstream on our eighth generation core processors. People are going to love what Intel has done for this holiday. The broadest range of devices that now support Mixed Reality, it has never been so easy to experience it, from notebooks to two-in-ones to desktops. No. Yeah, that's right. And, and, I, and I also wanted to announce some exciting news today with regards to the Olympics. We're going to be delivering a Windows Mixed Reality experience with Intel True VR for the 2018 Winter Games. And we're thrilled about it, and we know that viewers are going to love the way they can get a front row seat to take part in all the action. No way. You guys are amazing. I love partnering with you guys. Thank you, GB. Now, hey, who else is awesome. here with us? Is that hey, Eric nice Romo? Hey, all the avatars. Hey, hey, this Alex. is Eric Romo. He's the founder of Altspace. This is nice pretty wild. Guys. So, Terry, this conversation's been kind of sort of interesting. What do you think about us having all of our meetings here in Altspace? Well, we certainly can give it a shot. <laughs> we already do a lot of our meetings in Altspace. It's a, the perfect way. It's right on our mission of connecting real people in virtual places. Eric, you and your team have really built something pretty amazing. So hey guys, we have a team full of, a room full of people from our team waiting for us around the campfire. Why don't I actually take you guys there, so follow me. Hello everyone. Hi team, we're so inspired by the community that is Altspace VR. You guys have been true pioneers in mixed reality communications. So today I'm just so pleased to announce that Microsoft has acquired Altspace VR and welcome this great team to Microsoft. Let's see those emojis. Yeah. 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 Right. We're gonna make the Altspace VR experience great in Windows mixed reality. And we'll continue to embrace other platforms the community chooses to use including browsers and phones. And as we look to the future, we believe building out communities where we can gather, play, and create will unlock incredible new shared experiences, and we're excited to lead the way with Altspace VR. Eric, welcome to the team.
Thank you, Terry. And on, on behalf of the Allspace community and our team, uh, we're so excited to be joining Microsoft. We're thrilled that you, you share our vision and our passion for this amazing new medium. Should we uh, fist bump? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the team. I can't wait to see what we get to go create together. Now, folks, I would love to stay here and continue this party on the fire chat with you guys, but I'm in the middle of a keynote in San Francisco, and so I have to go back to uh, my cliff house. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you in a bit. Aw, see you, Alex. Bye. 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 Now, I think this was the first ever acquisition to be announced entirely from within virtual reality. What do you guys think? Shall we keep exploring? All right. Oops, let me turn off my Pandora there for a second so that you don't hear that music, my bad. All right. Wow, I shake a lot on stage, clearly. All right, so here is my entertainment palace. This is where I come to use the space to watch movies and escape into immersive worlds. In the far end of the room here, you see my movies and TV universal application. This is the same application we ship everywhere in Windows. Now, this is a great place to watch movies on a gigantic screen. Now, while we're rehearsing, I actually measured the screen from distance, and it measured as an effective 300 inches television. Now, can you imagine the next time you're in an airplane with her beautiful headset plugged into your beautiful laptop, and you're enjoying a movie in your very own, very private 300-inch screen? Now, I can also jump into 360-degree immersive videos. Now, our friends at John Studios have just posted this video about Amazing China. Let's take a look. Now, returning home is as easy as clicking back on my home button. Now, re um, unlike my real home, this home holds surreal secrets. Now, with a push of a button, I can open this entire room into this beautiful, starry night. One of the many advantages of an alternate reality. And I can easily watch my Netflix collection or play content on my Xbox. So let's go play some content on my 300-inch screen Xbox. So I'm going to click there to stream to my Xbox. Oops. Now, the key thing to see is how I'm going to seamlessly move from motion controllers to a gamepad. Now, this is a game that just came out this week. It's called Cuphead. And as a hardcore gamer, I have to say, this game is not only gorgeous and with a nostalgic soundtrack, but it's also one of the most hardcore platforms I have seen in a while. And I love it. Now, I could play this game all day, but um, I should focus and actually finish this demo with you guys. The last place I want to show you in the Cliff House is upstairs. So with that, let's go see what else is hiding here in the Cliff House. All of these games have been downloaded from the Windows Store, from the Microsoft Store. And we're really excited about our launch portfolio this holiday. And we're going to be, you can, you're going to be able to be immersed in this content for hours. Now here on this wall, I have a small fraction of the titles that um, are in the Microsoft Store this holiday. These happen to be the titles that I'm playing right now. Now, I've been playing Minecraft with my daughter since she was two years old. She's seven years old now, and she just loves exploring her creations in what she calls Daddy Goggles. Now, when she goes to bed, I have fun playing some of the hottest titles in virtual reality right now. Titles like Super Hot, 
Space Power Trainer, and Arizona Sunshine. And it's great to see more casual gaming experiences making mixed reality engaging for the entire family. One title in this category I am very excited about is Luna from Phenomena. Luna will be launching through the Microsoft Store on the same day as the Mixed Reality headsets go on sale on October 17th. So let's hear from Luna's creator, creator Robin Hunnaking. Robin was kind enough to record a hologram of herself for us in one of our Mixed Reality Capture Studios. Let's take a listen. Luna is an interactive fairy tale about a young bird who swallows the last piece of the waning moon, which causes a storm that blows it far from its nest. Your job as the player is to untangle the bird's memories, build miniature worlds, and help the bird find its way home. When we designed Luna, we wanted it to be something that anyone, regardless of their level of experience, could pick up and enjoy. Something that combined a tactile, engaging gameplay with magical, mysterious fable. Using the uniquely immersive capabilities of the mixed reality to transport you right down into the story. The Windows Mixed Reality headset and controllers do such a great job of immersing us with ease, which empowers us as storytellers to connect with our audience in a whole new way. I really hope you enjoy the world of Luna as much as we have enjoyed creating it for you. Thank you, Robin. Now, no gaming story is complete without Halo. So let's hear from Bonnie, head of our 343 Studios. Thank you, Alex. At 343, we've been having fun learning and experimenting with the capabilities of Windows Mixed Reality. Some time ago, Alex approached us and asked if we'd be interested in prototyping an experience set within the Halo universe. As we're always looking for ways to experiment with new technology to bring the Halo universe to life, we jumped at the chance to try it out. On October 17th, fans will be able to experience Halo Recruit in Microsoft stores. It's a fun, brief introduction into the world of Halo, where you'll see several of our iconic characters in mixed reality for the very first time. Halo Recruit is only scratching the surface of what the potential of a Halo mixed reality experience can be. We hope you enjoy this first step of our journey. Thank you again, Alex and team, for this amazing opportunity. Thank you, Bonnie. Now, gamers love choice, right? And there's no bigger collection for VR games than on Steam. Last month, we shared that we are working with Valve to bring Steam VR content to Windows Mixed Reality. And since then, we have already started engaging with partners to make sure their Steam VR experiences work great on Windows Mixed Reality. One of those partners is Servios, creators of the Steam VR hit Raw Data. So let's hear from Mike from Servios. Thanks, Alex. At Servios, we are believers in bringing the best active VR experiences to people all over the world in order to show the true potential of VR especially in gaming. We're excited to see the Windows Mixed Reality headsets come to the masses this month and opening the Windows MR platform to connect with Steam and all its great VR content. At Servios, we build raw data from the ground up for Active VR. As one of the top selling and most highly rated VR games, fans worldwide enjoy the six off combat, the natural controls, and intense PVP matches. We invite all of you to immerse yourself in the fight between the Heroic Syndicate and the benevolent Eden Corp. We are thrilled to work with Microsoft to bring raw data to the Windows Mixed Reality community, and I personally look forward to running into all of you in-game. And I personally look forward to running into you, Mike. Thank you. Now, I'm excited to announce that the Windows Mixed Reality Steam VR preview for consumers will be available later this year in time for all of us to play at this holiday, bringing the entire CMVR catalog to Windows Mixed Reality. Now here, I have my Windows desktop slate open with shortcuts to some of my favorite Steam titles enabled by this new bridge. Titles like Raw Data, Abduction, Google Earth, and Tilt Brush. A new spatial operating system, inspiring content and great partnerships. This is just a small peek into Windows Mixed Reality. 
But I have one last announcement to make. Follow me. Oh, real code, let me load the PowerPoint that was supposed to be here. Oops. All right, we're gonna just do this instead. I'm shaking too much on stage. All right, so I'm incredibly proud to announce the Samsung HMD Odyssey. This is a premium HMD, and you'll be joining the lineup of HMDs this holiday. Now, to tell us more about it, we have a hologram from Elena Cutton, Vice President from Samsung Electronics USA. At Samsung, we strive to develop meaningful innovation that makes a difference in consumers' lives and delivers incredible experiences. So when we began designing and engineering the Samsung HMD Odyssey with Microsoft, there was only one goal in mind, create a high-performing headset that's easy to set up and can transport people to the incredible world of virtual reality. Powered with dual AMOLED displays, which Samsung is known for, that result in vivid colors and the highest resolution in the industry. Built-in spatial AKG headphones, inside-out tracking, built-in microphone, and quick responsive motion controllers. The Samsung HMD Odyssey immerses users with a 110-degree field of view as they discover the new frontier of Windows Mixed Reality. Samsung is committed to working across platforms to build cutting-edge technology and we're excited to partner with Microsoft to shape the future of virtual reality. But most of all, we can't wait for you to take the Samsung HMD Odyssey out for a spin and see it for yourself. Thank you, Elena. Now, I'm so excited about this headset that I've been wearing it for this entire presentation. I'm excited to announce that the Samsung headset with motion controllers will retail for just $499. That's right, the full range, thank you, the full range of Windows Mixed Reality headsets include the most affordable and the highest fidelity headsets available anywhere this holiday. The Samsung's headset starts shipping on November 6th and you can pre-order them starting today. And so it begins the power to immerse yourself in a new reality. Today, we met the first spatial operating system, a home where every place has purpose, where every piece of content has context, and a serene place I like to call my home. We talked to an AI-infused operating system created from the ground up with gestures, gaze, and voice. We played with universal applications that were designed for keyboard and mice, touch and keyboard, a touch and ink, gestures, and now motion controllers. We immerse ourselves in fantastical experiences from the Microsoft Store and Steam VR. We transcend the space and time by, ta by talking to amazing creators and announcing an acquisition entirely in virtual reality. The Fall Creators Update to Windows 10 is the best operating system for mixed reality. And when combined with these industry-defining headsets they will give you an unparalleled experience, an experience you won't find on anybody else's platform or anybody else's device this holiday. Such an exciting time to be a consumer, an organization, or a creator. It's an exciting time for all of us. Thank you.